Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Eric Schiller and Bush. This lovely game was played in New York in 1970. Eric Schiller had white pieces and he started with e4. Bush played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, the Italian game, knight to f6, to knight defense, and now knight to g5, going for the fried liwa attack, maybe. As you can see, white goes after the weak pawn on f7, black to move, how would you defend? Bush played d5, bishop to c5, and the Trexler counter-attack is a wild alternative. Back to our game, we have d5, e takes on d5, black to move, and this is the critical moment. Knight to a5 is the correct move. Knight takes on d5 was played, white move, and the knight takes on f7 is a pure fried liver attack. Instead, Schiller played d4, the lolly attack. Black to move. How should black take the pawn on d4? Should he play e takes on d4 or knight takes on d4? e takes on d4 was played. If knight takes on d4, then c3, attacking the knight, and when the knight goes back to c6, white wins a piece. Back to our game. We have e takes on d4. Castling h6. White to move. What is the best square for the knight? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Eric Schiller played knight takes pawn. This is like a delayed fried liver attack, but it works much better. King takes on f7, queen to f3, check. King to e6, protecting the knight, but exposing his king too much. White played the obvious move, rook to e1, check. King to d6, let's take it back. Knight to e5 would prolong the game, but after bishop to f4, white still wins. Back to our game. King to d6, Bush ended his own torture by playing this move. Can you see how? White to move and to check mate in one and the move is queen takes knight check mate. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.